Thanks, mom. All right. <laughs> my mom's so proud of me. She actually like watched me cast once in the past six years. Yeah. You know, uh, that aside. Well, take a look at the community vote. See what you guys think mm -hmm. of who will win this. I have a feeling might slide. Well, I was gonna say. <laughs> well, I mean. Respectable. Historically speaking, probably wouldn't go that route. But NIP have actually had a good start here. NIP have always been this team that would always show up on land. Yeah. Not so much. Not on so land. Yeah. yeah. They, they did towards the end of last season and the beginning of this season. They so. saved themselves from relegation spot from all the way down and then yeah. fought their way back up. Put themselves in, I believe, position five or six, and they saved themselves from the relegation, auto relegation position in seven and eight. That was the important part, really, was just getting out of that so they could been. continue to work forward. That would have been a disaster. <laughs> yeah, that would have been not good for them. But, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're off to a good start this time. If they could take Immortals and the community vote is right, then that... Again, puts them in a good position against the team that made it to land last time. So, yeah, I'm way. not sure if all the NMP players are living together. Now, now last time we had had situations where I believe they were all together in the team house, and we would see them all disconnect at once, similar to what we saw from Phase. So there is always the possibility they could end up in a similar situation. Yeah, which all is, teams. So again, we're letting you know crossed. just a heads up. Yeah. It might possibly happen again, and if it does. Please, Twitch chat, could you explain to the other guys and other girls and, you know, gals and girls and boys and audience anything, members? Yeah, audience members. That, hey, it's probably just due to a power outage because there's a thunderstorm. Yeah. And that's that's fine. Yeah. It's just setting you up for potential issues. Yeah. Hopefully, it's everything goes smoothly and we get a great game because this is exactly what we want. Absolutely. Not to be too negative here. <laughs> Absolutely. But uh, looks like we're about to get into game here. So we got everyone in, ready Border. to go. All right. Border should be fun here once we get into it. But uh, yes. definitely, as usual, always interested to see how the bands go. We saw that yesterday played in North America. Mm -hmm. um, that was played between Rogue and... That was a, outside of the rehost, a bit of a swift match. It's a barn burner. Yeah, it was That is the definition of a barn burner. Yeah, it was definitely the case where huge amount of aggression coming oh, out yes. from Evil Geniuses, especially on their attacks. Not so much from Rogue, but the, the EG match, or the uh, EG attack sides was, was were very, very brief. Monty going to be the first to go, interestingly, from Immortals. So something that we have seen quite a few more Monty bands this uh, season, I'd say a lot. A lot of teams wanting to bring shields, a lot of teams not wanting to deal with shields. So it feels like shields may be wielding uh, an inordinate amount of influence this particular season. Glaz going to get banned from NIP. Ironically enough, they are the ones with the Glaz skin, but they are not going to be making it brought here. Let's see what the defensive band's going to end up being, though. I got to imagine Echo good chance he goes out or potentially Maestro or Valkyrie so those some seem to be the popular ones as well but the Maestro going to be the first to go so probably not you know I was going to say probably not an Echo but that's really more of a last season we've seen quite a few matches now where we've seen both Maestro and Echo Band but still have a feeling it might be Valkyrie especially on this map where you don't want the runouts on the uh, sort of walkways to backfire on you but no clash alright well the Monty on defense going to go as well so that should keep these in interesting. I got to imagine I'm that is by a, the clash ban. It's got to be a target ban. It's got to be a case where either something they've seen in scrims from other teams they don't want to deal with, or this particular team. NIP specifically. Yeah. Or pretty darn good on blitz. Yeah, I mean that. It, I, sometimes that translates to playing clash and other things because you you know how to keep the shield in front of you and block sometimes bullets. Sometimes so. just lost in translation. What? Because you said it translates. Oh, I see. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. No, gotcha doesn't play here. Maybe, uh, maybe if he's done replacing Geo, he could just fly on down. It was yesterday. I know, if he's done. <laughs> Geo, gotcha always saves the day. G Geo did seem pretty fired up for just getting over food poisoning. It's like he he purged and was just the amount of energy drinks. Yeah, it was absolutely. That's he was replacing all the Attacking nutrients lost. They literally put energy drinks in the bread. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's what they do. It helps them rise. So right. we will see both the Valkyrie and the Echo and the Mirror in the case where that will also give them a lot of intel to work with here, but they will have to contend with Jokmi. I got to say, though, there will be a little bit of help from the Mute as uh, in situations often where there will be someone playing behind a Mirror window, because they're not playing with a Bandit, there will very often be a Mute there to stop uh, any kind of 
uh, Havana sort of thing from going, which in case they're not bringing, but that, that is often the case. You want to stop people from being able to open up those walls, so you'll often see a mute jammer on those, in which case then that also stops the Dokubi phone call. That's nice. a nice spot. Yeah, it's, uh, I believe it was Leon that showed it off one day. Yeah, no, the best part of it is that even if you're bringing IQ, which is the case here for NIP, um, you can't easily find the correct angle yeah. to get the shot because like you can find so where it's at, you just can't hit it. Yeah, it's so far back that it's fairly complicated to find yeah. the, the yokai to get out. And of course, you can use, MK can use his yokai on the other side of the map, use that as information gathering. And in this case, Novis has, you know, black eyes to gain information. There's been a huge rise, a rise in operators that just give you information yeah. on what's going Smartly's on. Smartly's got them all inside, which gives him the ability to be a bit more protected from the IQ. But the one thing Wag has here to bring to that is if he can get a dead body to hack the phone of, then all of a sudden all of this utility, all of those different ways of gaining information outside of Mira start to become the possession of the attackers as well. Very true. Obviously, except for one, the yokais. Yeah. Otherwise, yes, uh, we we fall into that trap in the past. Yeah, yeah. So we're not, we don't we don't. I meant the uh, all of these ways. Oh, 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 he oh. finds it, M King. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Well, now no one's there to steer those yokais. So unfortunately, that one that is sitting on top of the lockers, if it did not race to the ceiling, will not be useful at all. I, th I think people cannot. Well, they'll have to, excuse me for this one. He actually did thread the needle in this case. He did. And so does fate. So I, li I like how the Latin America, though, does run the, the Jaeger with the uh, the life vest. I think that's always fun. Psycho moving in from below. Wag as well downstairs. I believe he is on the drone. Can call at any point in time. Some fire raining down onto Psycho from above. Fire justice. Still not enough to finish off. The uh, IQ downstairs, Pino has actually come in. Uh, of course, the buck early on, earlier on had destroyed the soft wall from jail or tension into this spot here in the customs area and just fires in to the top floor cyber. Fairly low on health. And also, bullet has taken a bit of damage. Yeah, he's definitely done some. I mean, yeah, he's getting away with being from being killed, but he's definitely taking a lot of shots. They're doing a lot of damage from below. Someone needs to put some pressure on them because that's the loss of the mirror window as well now. So good work being done from below by the attackers. Yeah, but look at that. 40 seconds left on the clock, and the push has to come in. At some point, Cyber finds two, and can he get the third? They're all going to start to line up for him. Cyber with one more, and that's a fuser on the floor. Novi's will find one on a wog, and suddenly it all turns the way of Immortals. And in true fashion, they clean up all of the ninjas that fail to enter and scale into the building. Oh, man, that was absolutely brutal from the Immortals. That was, uh, yeah, I've... A very good turnaround. I mean, that the the inability to kill that Jaeger inside from below, absolutely backfiring. That is unfortunate because I think there were some good plays that just couldn't do enough damage. Luckily, he was absolutely on top of moving around. Well played by Cyber. Absolutely just killing it that round, despite the early loss of one of the players inside CCTV. Still managing to stick it. So, speaking of it, there was no Habana last round, but... Julio will sneak one in via the sixth pick. But they will be down in vents now. It is interesting because depending on how you're attacking it, Thermite could be a bit more useful for this attack. But then again, that depends on how you're Defender, attacking it. Your because it can be pretty good for helping attacker. get that bathroom wall open in a much swifter fashion, sometimes than needing two or three of your ex-Kyro sets to be able to do that. But Again, if you want to be able to use some of those to open up angles first, or even use them, some of them upstairs as well, most likely not for hatches more often than that, a lot of those are going to be open from the defenders setting up to be able to rotate themselves down as they're going to defend the top floor as long as they can first. But uh, you still you still want to have some options. I can imagine that's what Julio's trying to do is just give themselves the ability to set up some of those extra options that they can do Ten now. Seconds so far, just a bit of a standard setup here. The Mira. It's obviously the big, I don't want to say oddity, but the the extra thing to worry about just because it's an operator that sees so much in bands. Now, PX will set up a second black mirror here on the soft wall to watch from servers into uh, the just, uh, just opening up a rotation hole. Second one as well here on the armory wall. Now, this this is uh, not so common, but when it comes to this site defense, because of course it's you know, the fence and uh, uh, the, the workshop. 
it does make sense. It allows you to hold on to the armory as long as possible, and that's why the walls from the archives into the armory are also reinforced. Yeah, and the one downstairs is nice because, well, you want to stop them from playing B, but you don't want to be dependent upon the visibility that you get uh, from. Nice rotate hole there. Yes, this has been happening a lot in the past couple of weeks in Europe, as much as it, it has been in Latin America. And I think ENDS have played a decent chunk of it, as well as Team Empire. Speaking of rotate holes, that's what that's where I was going with that. Was the the rotate hole you usually have set up into B is a limited visibility, but a good them. way to deny the window. But the way they have it now, they can deny quite a bit more. The doorway as well, potentially. Nice peek out there from the Yokai drone. But speaking of uh, peaks, bullet take it down, Kamikaze. Yeah, that's a big loss to the Zofia here. Definitely not an operator. You'd like to lose early on is uh, the utility, the Gishmot stun grenades. Uh, stronger and stronger as the round you know, comes in. Uh, it also gets much harder to take this because you generally have to take the top floor and then attack the bottom unless you're just going to go entirely at the bottom. Now they're down in manpower and they have yet to kill anyone upstairs and so many people upstairs. Yeah, I see the mirror from below as well that has opened up uh, part of the floorboard so they can use that to their advantage here on the defense. Yeah, plus through a C4 up. Yeah, the whole point is to protect the Echo that's playing in the back and they should have a Yokai from M King to support Cyber will get one as Pino will look through the rotation hole that was opened up uh, previously and oh no saw the rotation there in the back in the meantime the Dokabi of Wog has been eliminated which means no calls you try to thread it and there you go M King will get taken down so yeah you're playing VIP but or you know playing protect the VIP uh, but you end up losing literally the most important part of this round arguably the Echo so far, not a luck. Not a lot of luck for Echoes, but then not a lot of luck for anyone trying to deal with Cyber. Is that's two for him now? Well, let's try to peek in as well. The Habana gets lost in Cyber again. He's doing so much damage, but Pino comes in. Two kills, then swiftly eliminated by Novi's Immortals. We'll find the second round and put it on the board. The Jaeger is on fire. En fuego. It's certainly a team effort, but man, he is he is very much pulling his weight on the team yeah, right now. Now, despite uh, one or two losses, there was very strong round for Immortals, who had a very good top floor defense. I mean, some of that wasn't even necessarily on the top floor. It was, you know, he was rotating up and down the stairs as well, of the metal stairs. We'll see how this attack goes on to Customs this time. So they have to continue to switch bomb sites. This is going to be their third. I feel like Bathroom Tellers had had a good time to shine and then just really died off abruptly as everyone went back to customs. So. Very true. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. We'll see how it goes for them this time. Hopefully M King can do a bit more with his yokais this time and a little bit less with absorbing bullets with his face. As uh, it just seems to have been a struggle. I mean he just seems to be in somewhat compromised positions or angles he doesn't realize are open. More it's more that than anything else, that he just keeps getting caught off guard, moving around in situations where he thinks he's secure, and instead he's not. And then just get shot from it. See if uh, Pino there with three kills can continue to carry things if the rest of his team can live a little bit longer this time. They are going to actually bring the thermite. Six for Cyber. Not too shabby, that's for sure. Two drones being lost here early on in the round, which means you know you have to get to contend with not having as much as many drones as possible, or as many drones as you'd like to have. But still, it's uh, it's two. You can lose them early on, and leave three to come in. I mean, the drone economy can get fairly complicated to dig into just because you don't really have a beat or information on everything that's happening and where drones are being won and lost. But still. Novice in the meantime, just continuing on, spawn, spotting things uh, whenever possible with the black eye here. He has him in a pretty nice position here in the cupola. And his cupola to uh, you know, gauge, gauge the situation around the officer. Well, they're definitely doing a good job holding the rest of the, uh, the area. Again, their, their defense is usually holding up pretty well in this area, similar to they just did with vents. But in this case, they also have to hold a bit more because they want to hold... Uh, the whole CCTV, which I mean, Cyber has done just fine. So if M King can stay alive, it gets even worse because, or for the attackers, that is because they've got to deal with him. Oh, there Ooh. we go, a nice hack coming out, or not hack. I'm sorry, the phone call. Call. I mean, it is a hack, but not the same hack. Actually, actually, <laughs> correct myself. <laughs> One black guy still in pocket. Oh, wow, Novies, what was that? The timing. That's a psychotic shot there. On Psycho. Oh, man.
man. That's beautiful. And another one? No. Bolt will have to fall back. Shotgun in hand, but it's the buck ready for him. Somehow he doesn't get finished off, though. Buck just pulling C4 off deployed. the wrong time. C4 will not connect. Mm. No damage done here as uh, Pino is still remain on the, around the 55 health mark. And Bullet is actually alive still. What is going on? M-King will set up his Yokai drone in a much better position, and it'll make it very difficult for the Buck to deal with him. Bullet thinking of uh, getting into the hallway and at least fighting the Buck that's on the other side. No, the Dokevi just dives in right into him. Kamikaze will finally get the kill, but at what cost? The three speeds have been eliminated. Now the spearhead suddenly got a lot more blunt for an AP. Yeah, still looking again. Like it could be an Immortals round, as uh, they seem to be struggling. Pino, or Pino's still alive though, and he is definitely a beast, as I mentioned before, and, and put up a good effort despite being solo at the very end of last round. So if he can get uh, some additional push support from his teammates, that'd be great. But M-King is also living a lot longer this time, and well, Cyber's still alive, so it's a lot in store. But nice grenade there from Pino. Yeah, I'll take down Novice and eliminating the uh, Valkyrie. I believe that was the C4 lost as oh, well. It's still 3v3 with an Echo alive. That's still a pretty good spot. The C4 was thrown outside and PX will not hit anyone. No, it still has a bar, still has Nitro Cell. 10 seconds left on the clock and this is where the Echo will start to shine. Cyber will find one. No one has entered the site just yet as the walls are still reinforced, but half of them are soft. Nemking will find another. Julio is dead and last alive is Pino as he drops from the hatch, gets eliminated very quickly by Cyber. And you said Pino. Doesn't Pino mean like uh, pineapple? I, I think so. Maybe it's maybe it's an accurate description of him. I don't, I don't, I have, I don't really remember what he looks like. Pineapple's nice. Pineapples are nice. All right. We'll see the effect of uh, on this round on the ninjas. Is man, that was that was devastating. Yeah. And and again, M King M King lived longer that round. It was extra manpower they had. Mm -hmm. And if he can, you know, not get picked off early again this round, this is still a very good defense for them. They've they've secured both CCTV and lockers area so well every single round. That is when it's the bomb site. It just, I don't know, it becomes very difficult to contend with. Maybe we'll see an offices push this time. Defenders come out from the pajamas to try and contest with some of that in terms of uh, trying to push from behind rather than dealing with CCTV. Try and go for a push on the uh, archive side for a plant. But either way, it is a struggle when Cyber's able to live so long in that CCTV. And, uh, you know, maybe he's not even getting some of those early kills, but as soon as manpower starts dwindling for the attackers, he seems to just kind of come in and clean up. And yeah. do a very good job of that. It's it's like once he's like, oh hey, there's not as many attackers left. I ha suddenly have freedom to move, and I will come out swinging with you at that point. So, Ten seconds left. see though, but they are still continuing to play the same set of intelligence operators, and I think that is a big reason why they're winning. Is you talked about the drones being lost by the attackers, whereas all this extra intel they have from the defenders. Yes, some of the situations where M-King is dying, not all those drones are in effective spots or angles where they can be used, so not always getting the full utility out of the Echo, but still with two drones, there's a good chance one of those might still be useful. You saw last time, for example, they had one in the hallway that was helping out uh, trying to defend their own bullet, but uh, it did. he did eventually get uh, traded from a different angle, but the Echo was not going to be able to watch for him. We'll see if Kamikaze can live a little bit longer this time. Well, hopefully Psycho can actually do something with the IQ and take down the the Echo drones that, even though we're not super present in the previous round, even the ones before it, but they're able to at least gather information and bring it back to the defense. That's something yeah. that you're not always using the uh, the Yokai Burst, but you're at least getting some sort of... Oh. The Buck's going to be trying to get him he out of position it. again, too. He sniped it. He sniped one of the Yokais. The absolute madman. What a nut. Well, it's looking down, Cyber. Uh, sure, there's a buck below him, and that is uh, that is the case. And Julio will continue to drone in and gain information on the Jaegers. Oh, he gets shot from go. below. All right, well, if he doesn't finish him off, this, this is good. Oh, 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 no, oh, boy, we'll get it. Kamikaze with the refrag. And that's the, well, how is the, well, how would the Echo die? Psycho yeah. will get, finally, Cyber out of play here. The Jaeger playing the CCTV, but. It's a good early kill on Pino, as, a, as he hadn't likely used his grenades yet. Yeah. But st still, <laughs> that, was, that was such an awkward fight. Yeah. 
But in the meantime, downstairs, trying to contest the player that is right near him. Julio slow on, on health now on the Habana, the only hard breach that is brought by the ninjas. And carrying the diffuser. And then Wag is going to be the one to get taken down again. He doesn't Bob seem to be lasting too long in a lot of these rounds, unfortunately, either. They are doing a good job at least trying to catch some of the utility oh, with the man. IQ. Two, three Night Dorsals available, two yeah. of them downstairs, and there's no manpower afforded from an IP to... Oh, no. Well, at least he's at least, one. Yeah, one of them, two of them actually are going to hit. They're going to be enough to blow away the mirror window. I mean, it, it didn't open up the wall, or the wall too much it's wider. It's an odd shape. Yeah. It's definitely going to uh, do not so well for them. Kamikaze with a nice kill in the Navis. Still, the mirror's in the back, and DX is going to get flashed. Actually, not moving from the desk and easily shot by Kamikaze in a round that should have all been immortals. Somehow, it turns the way of the ninjas. C4 set up from the lobby and fired up, but that's just basically to cover for the mute that goes up and finds the headshot. Kamikaze's down. Julio's still low on health. All it takes, a couple more shots here, and it'll be enough to finish off the Habana as he goes all the way back. Psycho by the balcony. He tries to go for the fight against the bullet. They have the information on him, and Psycho instantly lands the headshot. Bullet tried to go for the QE peak, but it was not fast enough. And IP will put the first round on the board. And a good round it was. It was, uh, I mean, obviously Immortal's big mistake was Cyber dying, right? It's totally their own fault. I don't know how the Echo got killed so easily. I don't know what's going on with M-King, and I, and I feel bad. Because, like, an Echo shouldn't be dying that early on unless it's Nyx playing. It's just, <laughs> it's, it's one of these things, it's just, where? why is he always caught out in these odd spots, it seems? It's like, wherever he's playing, somehow there's a sight line on him. But either way, though, Unfortunately for Cyber, Buck is slowly catching on to his game, and this time finally managed to get him on it. It, it did help that there was pressure from the window as well, right? Because the fact that he had constantly had to watch the window, he couldn't stay as mobile as he would have liked because he couldn't swing as wide on the window. He needed to hold an angle where they kind of had to peek him or he could catch them in the back. It was it was not a situation where they were going to give him a ton of, or where they were going to get a ton of advantage on him from the window, but he just, he again, had to constantly watch it. Because of that, just unfortunately compromised at some point, and good on Pino to do that, but he did get caught off guard right afterwards as he was so focused on that. Had they killed Pino earlier, though, that might have been a much better round for them. But either way, despite not having to, they will switch down to Vent. Deciding, uh, well, you know, maybe we've played out lockers for the moment. Of course, you still have to defend lockers. You can play Vent, though. So three rounds in. Um, you know, the glass is lost, the, uh, the Monty's lost as well. Um, so the attack not really suffering a ton when it comes to the operator bands, I have to say. I mean, if they were looking to play a glass, then sure, but I guess, yeah. other than that, but I mean, that's, I wouldn't imagine that's the case because, well, they're the ones who banned the glass, so I would, I would imagine that's probably not a loss to them. And uh, unless they were going to bring a Monty, again, not a big loss, like you said. Ninjas are known for bringing uh, a blitz here and there. Yeah, Julio definitely well known for that. Psycho will come in. Just a standard checklist for any team that wants to go in for the Eastern take. At least have some sort of map control before diving into the office areas. You kind of need to take this though, because the last thing you want is a run out while you're trying to deal with CCTV. Very true. No matter what, you, you know, you see the defenses and how tiered they are. You have to peel them off one by one, and part of it is to take the office and then fight into the archives, which makes a lot of sense in how NIP are trying to progress through this site and what is above it. Now, the thing is, once you have chop floor control, it's very easy to dive down on your opponents, and WOG will open up a flurry. Oh. Kyber will be the first one to go down, and the man that's been doing the most work on Immortals. Yeah, that is a great kill, because WAG, like I said, hadn't been living too long in a lot of these rounds, taking down the man who had been living far too long as far as Ninja's Pajamas is concerned, is a great initial kill. It might have even just been a wall bang too, potentially. Hard to say is we didn't see the actual kill itself, but M-King doing some good work with this Yokai drone, and of course not firing it so it doesn't get spotted, although that is an IQ to potentially spot it. He's gonna fire it and move with the rotate while the C4 attempts to come out. Oh! And Pino down, a great initial kill to kind of trade it off a little bit for Cyber, much like last round. Exactly what was required here to get the trade ASAP, and yeah. losing that buck is not a fun spot to be in, because what yeah. are you left now with in terms of soft destruction? Well, only the Zofia, and if you're relying on the Zofia for soft destruction, yeah. 
Probably not a great spot to be in now. Well, I'm we're not just sure. talking about the top four attacks as well, mm -hmm. so. And I'm not sure if Kamikaze is bringing breaching charges, which a lot of uh, Zofia players in other regions will do. And what is what in tarnation is that? You see those that like one tiny hole, like disc level size, that was opened into workshop. I think that was just the drone hole with the briefcase. No, 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 no. There's you, unless it was another one. It. I think it was a Havana that opened it up. Interesting. Weird. All right. Uh, hopefully we get to see it again, just to make sure that, that I'm not delusional. We might need more than just a spectator. Okay, all right, bomb. <laughs> Novi's coming on up. There's someone watching the uh, entryway here into the hall, and I believe that's... No, that is not uh, Wog, actually. Uh, Julius. Oh, wow. Come in. There you go. There, did you see the holes that yeah, have been opened it, up by the Havana? I just crouched, creeped in. Yeah, I see the little hole I'm, there. I'm not sure what, why it was not all completely open. Maybe some Kairos bounced yeah, away, but still, Kanakazi will find one, and that's the Diffuser down on the floor. Four seconds left in the clock. His bullet will get the finisher on Julio. The is going to get set here by Kamikaze, right by the smoke, because Novis will get one. He runs in for the second, sprays right into the side, and goes Ooh. in for the knife, and no! Kamikaze is ready to hit it. RG15 to the face! Bullet with shotgun in hand. He lands some damage, goes in for the long arm. Kamikaze is still alive. Bullet will win it. And all it took is a shotgun shell. Immortals will put the fourth round on the board in a beautiful play for Bullet and Diffuser. That was some fantastic shotgun play there. And that is why fancy footwork, I have to say. Giving Mute the shotgun play now with the SMG 11 definitely was a buff. Yes. So nicely done. That was a close one. It was a. It was unfortunate the attempted push onto the Diffuse Planter too little too late. It was a nice kill prior to that, but just the pre-fire around the corner, he was just enough around the corner to get away with it, but the, the mute play just... Well, then my bullet, who's actually been playing a very good mute most of the time here, doing fantastic on that. We will see Locker's attempt again here, now that they succeeded in defending Locker's. Of course, they don't want to have to go back to Customs. They will not, so Locker's it is. See if they can secure it one more time. M King, finally gonna try something else. Question mark. There we go. The smoke. So deciding that the uh, yokai's were not doing a whole lot for them. Not to mention the IQ consistently being brought out here from the attackers. Attackers. Probably a good idea to switch that up. And the smoke is a great way to do that, especially for this particular side. Very true. We'll see how PX. Uh, believe. You know. Okay. Here's the thing. Mira, multiple ways of playing her, especially if we're gonna sit up on the army, right? You have one, the olden style, which is the, how do I put this into actual words? Because it was the olden style, it isn't anymore. Before, around a year ago, you used to put a mirror window inside of CCTV and hold around CCTV with the wall into fountain completely destroyed to fight players coming in from office, right? Yeah. And then the second one will be set in the office area. And then suddenly, that whole strategy got blown out the water, and then everybody started playing in the Attack fountain area with a mirror window facing uh, the office in there, but it put you at a huge disadvantage because it required a lot of um, a lot of reinforcements to protect you as well from the back and uh, spreads your team out a bit too much for certain teams where they would like to have some players below, but because of the unsafe rotations, etc., it gets fairly complicated. Well, we've gone full circle, and as uh, our good friend Mr. Michael Kickstar Stockley would say, the meta is cyclical, and we have gone back to repeat the plays of the past, Cyber. Though in the meantime, we'll take just a tiny bit of damage. And I'm not sure if that was Wog that just hit him with a single uh, round of his uh, Mark 14. Yeah, it looks like Kamikaze is taking oh. a bit of damage as well, so I think it might have been those two hitting each other and then both just pulling away at the last second. All right, well, no mirror window in here as the Habana on the outside will oh, try to no. destroy the reinforced wall and no, instantly shut down as the Mute Jammers are making it a bit too difficult for NIP to gather intel on their opponent's positions inside of the break room and CCTV. Good job by uh, Bullet, making sure that those are set up in the right place to deny those drones. And uh, speaking of denials, there's a good trade there. PX taking out on Psycho, but traded back by Kamikaze. So that Lose. is unfortunate, losing one C4, but... Oh! Ooh. Cyber, well done, Kamikaze taken down. Now, was gonna say, because of the fact that there's no Echo, losing the IQ is not a huge deal. No, it's more just to kind of get some extra utility in, you know, where the uh, the ADS is potentially, where's those mute jammers exactly, but yeah. It's definitely the case where uh, not a big deal, but that's trade back on Zofia, definitely a bigger deal. The smoke in the back is information's being 
through late to Pino. He takes a bit of damage here on the puck as Novi's in the meantime will take down Julio. A quick uh, turn around. I'm not sure what Julio's doing. Maybe it was on the drone. Cypher's down on the floor, but oh, no. swiftly dispatched by the buck downstairs. Walk spraying in, but it's not enough to finish off Bullet, the mute that has uh, set himself up in the desk area. Grenade will bounce, but won't do damage. Wag and Pino, last two alive with around the equal amount of health here between one another. Wag instantly actually dropped down to zero, and last man is Pino. Unfortunately, this is the last round for NIP on this half, and Novi's dispatches El Pino. As, uh, yeah, this is not looking too great for NIP on the first half. Well, if it was just, you know, a bit defensive sided, then we could see that switch around. Now, as you mentioned, that was the last round for them to deal with attack. We did see some great contesting, I think, between Pino and Cyber, though. You saw Cyber kind of dominating the first half of that and then starting to get shut down a little bit by Pino from below. It was good buck play. I mean, we, we often used to see a lot of buck play that was focused on doing pressure below in uh, just below the lockers itself to try and help take out the batteries that kind of got rotated over to other operators. But seeing it to just really focus on pushing Cyber around and taking him out seemed to work pretty good once he started to get a better beat on the way that uh, Cyber liked to play it. MKM going to be sneaking in a Ying here, something we saw. We used to see played a lot for border Attack attacks for lockers. Kind of faded away a little bit. Not completely, but definitely dropped off. Which is why it's smart then to six pick it in, because yeah. if it's out of the meta, then it's going to be sneakier when you bring it in to get that six pick. It is again, like, oh, it's not really used that much, so maybe. And that's what makes it cyclical to highlight, which is, I imagine, where you're going with that. You, if, it, if you don't do it anymore, then all of a sudden you could do it again. You know, it's just, it is one of those things where. The human mind is uh, definitely an interesting, uh, interesting place, to say the least. You can, yeah. you can discover and imagine many things floating around in uh, brains and minds here. Five seconds left and before suddenly, we've turned very. Uh, Monologue. Yeah. Attackers have recovered. For David Adam. Here we see the mind of the average Rainbow Six player in play. That was a great accent, by the way. I thought maybe that was like a, a zebra JFK or something. A what? JF. <laughs> I, I wasn't I, sure. Ich bin ein Berliner. <laughs> I'm not sure if impressions are. No, they're forte. not really my strong point. That's fine. My talent has to stop somewhere. There's a certain point where, you know, life has to be fair to other people. It's true, it's true. You've got to pick your battles. And I choose to lose right now. Right. I will die upon this hill. Well, hopefully that won't be the case for Nip, just because oh. all they've gotten so far is one round. And that is not much. Not against five. Yes, I am not great at math, but... But you know five is definitely significantly bigger than one. Yep, I've, I remember those uh, exercises back in uh, school. Well, they went with the old, let's leave half the wall unreinforced and open it up strategy that we saw actually yesterday from Rogue as well. Yeah, Julia just trying to um, look look around here into ventilation. It is, of course, a powerful position to hold ventilation as the attacking side. It's not something... Now, this is the second mirror uh, that I was talking about the round before. Um, you know, explaining there's two ways to play the mirror on this side. One is CCTV and the other one, um, you know, running it inside of the fountain and this method here where the fountain mirror has kind of fallen off in favor for the one in cctv and it really just depends on the operators and the way that things are set uh, unfortunately i want to say for nip the attack is kind of looking like it's going to come from the opposite end by the armor wall yeah it's, i mean it's a little slow in the sense that it hasn't managed to find anyone to pick just yet but it's getting a little bit of Map control here, both struggling with oh, the window. Oh, the dive! Julio will find it! That goes very quickly into the ventilation. He even escapes the fire. His opponent's diving right in, and Psycho is able to bounce on top Great and find work. a kill. Oh, That's where it all ends, unfortunately. The dream. <laughs> oh, no! Julio again! Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? One speed, two speed, three speed. Doesn't really matter. People say, oh, it's all about roaming with three speed. It does not matter, people. It's all about the mindset. And the aggressive mindset here of Julio and the game sense works out. <laughs> As I say it, game sense is. Yeah. The game sense. The game sense is gone. <laughs> Timing on that one. Oh my god. That is hilarious. Okay, well. <laughs>
the game says is out of the building at this yeah. point. 2v4 now. Mm. 15 seconds left. Mm. Uh, not a great spot here, and Novis finally will finish off Julio, but at what cost? The Diffuser's already still on the floor. M-King sprays in the back, but can't find the kill. Five seconds on the clock as Novis will have to penetrate through the smoke, and so little health left. There's not much he can do, and defensive NIP off of aggressive peaks. Aggressive plays, especially from Julio on that mirror. Wins the round. I love the backup he got as well, though. As soon as he was getting pinched by that IQ, he just, like, hides in the... You know, hey, Bandit, come here. Yeah, yeah, I, I need some backup. Patito. And then he gets another run out, out of it. Amazing. Well, down events they have to go, of course, because they won the top floor. So we'll see how well they do in defending that, as they sort of partially did defend it, despite it not being the bomb site. Or no, they're going to switch to customs last second there. Okay. Again, you cannot sixth pick bomb sites, so they did have to do that before it was locked in. Wag going to sneak from the smoke he's well known for over to mute. You know, hey, I guess now that now the skill translates a little bit more that you can bring the uh, shotgun. SMG 11. They're true. Oh, we've seen M Mute is just such a huge pick now. Absolutely. There's no question Attack about it. That was such a game changer. Just that can. one change for him. That is all it took. It means now that you don't always have to run the smoke uh, for the shotgun. You can just run the Mute. And in this case, there is And that was the no thing. Is a lot of people were saying like they felt kind of compelled to play smoke because you needed that shotgun yeah. so badly. It? Now you don't have to. Now you can just run the same 870, but for another operator. Now, the reason why you wanted to run that shotgun instead of just, oh, hey, we can make do with Mira or with uh, revolver shotguns with uh, Maestro and Alibi, is that that shotgun is the best at destruction and remodeling. Yeah, and you have to do quite a bit of that these days to really customize the bomb yeah. site. And you only have so much time during prep phase. Mm -hmm. Ma you know, managing the quote unquote Sim City, as I like to call it. Um, it is, you know, it's, it's an actual esports term, actually. I'm not making it up. It's a StarCraft term, it's a real thing. All right. So, you know, that is an important part of, of Rainbow Six, and of course, being able to model the sites to what you really have in mind is a powerful thing in the tool, a powerful tool in the kit of the defenders. We'll see if the attackers can do a little bit better job this time securing the map control, holding on to it, actually starting to push towards the site. Because this is a harder one to attack in a way because you have to take both the top floor and then attack the bottom floor. You don't get the advantage. I mean, you don't see them generally attacking that much bottom up except for the buck play yep. in terms of the other bomb site. Still then, taking control of the CCTV is definitely priority number one oh, for yeah. you as the attacker. And speaking of the shotgun, you know, one day when I'll have my, my own home and I want to remodel it, I'm just going to buy a shotgun and just fire through the, the I, thought, I just assumed that's how most people did it. Yeah. It, it makes sense. I mean, Rainbow Six taught me how to do it. Oh. Uh, Julio is in the ventilation. We saw the amount of damage that he did in the previous round just by even playing on armor. It was more than enough. Now, Wog has... Uh, his mute jammers next to him, which means getting information on his position is very difficult for the attacking side, which is very interesting because we haven't seen any Thatcher play. Uh, definitely would be great to deal with this sort of, uh, uh, I don't want to say aggressive mute, but very sneaky mute plays. Julio will find Again. the kill. Bullet going down. You lose the buck. That's no grenades, and you can't really do much now. I mean, your, your top floor destruction is going to be very limited. And this might just force a full visa attack from Immortals. Definitely, they could go take a different approach and just kind of, I mean, they could go around from the back and uh, yeah, just blow the passport. In this case, they're still gonna kind of go for a frontal assault, but this time trying to take out and clear workshop if possible. But I have a feeling Julio's gonna put a stop to that. There's no drone in front of the Ash to give him information on Julio, so. Uh, Novice, if he decides to come in, is going to be running blind, and Julio will be easily able to hear him. Well, there's a drone fire coming go. from Cyber. It's exactly what they needed. So they'll have the info, but they're not going to... No, no, the oh, drone is upstairs. upstairs. Yeah, yes. no, just the angle made it look exactly like it was down there. So the timing oh. in the favor of Navis this time. At least Julio had gotten one before he went down. The waiting oh. game. 33 seconds now on the clock, and all of that to kill a Mira that was playing off the site. That's... A lot of dedication, keeping in mind, Wog is still upstairs, still has full control of CCTV, and look at the amount of utility being used. Oh, Wog will have to rush it. How is he alive? He ran outside and then back in, too. Psycho still finds one. Pino with another one just peeking in from the armory. And it just falls apart. Wow. That was... Wow. I mean, it was great denial from a lot of them, and, it, and they did start getting desperate towards the end in terms of plays. 
but just the timing coming out there from the attackers. I mean, the play into Julia was great, but after that, it just seemed like they did not have the coordination for the actual attack because I have, I have to imagine they just didn't get control of the areas they wanted to. They weren't able to get into their position soon enough but to set up for the execute. What did you do? You killed Amira in workshop servers with 30 seconds left. You still have don't have you still don't have top control in CCTV or an armory. You already used all your candelas and even extra flashbangs to try and push a mute that's in there, but you end up dying from the Jaeger that's still playing an armory. Maybe it would have been a better decision to come in from the office end and clear that top floor. And then as if you were attacking ventilation, ventilation and the workshop slash server, you can take the armory and then from there advance onto CCTV without needing to worry about any players from below that are playing in those positions. Because as we just saw, rushing in and going for a plant in the stock room is no easy feat. And that's the thing is, is if you don't get, you, ha you generally have a plan in mind in terms of how you're gonna execute on the site. And that usually comes down to, okay, we need to take control of these rooms to make that pressure happen. And because those rooms, especially in that bomb site, mostly involves CCTV, if they can deny that from you for so long, you start to get desperate at that point. You start to have to look for any openings you can find. You're usually lower on drones by that point, so finding those openings becomes more difficult. Not to mention the mute jammers trying to make that even harder for you to do so. Yeah, it becomes tricky. Also, I have to, I have a feeling they were expecting events to be the second bomb site, but it ended up being customs. And because of that, they were a little bit thrown off on their strategy. Now it will be vents, and they're going to know that's going to be the case because the last two rounds being won by NIP means it's either going to be vents or it's going to be bathroom tellers. And as I mentioned earlier, bathroom tellers just not so much in vogue anymore. So it's going to be vents, and they know it. Now, NIP has had a similar comeback match in Season 8. I believe that was in the first half, and they did play on border. I don't remember who it was against, but I distinctly remember the match where it was very slow against NIP, and then just they started fighting back until they at least tied it. I believe they won the game. In this case, it's, I mean, it's also coming down to switching sides, I think, is a, bit, yeah. is a big part of it. Definitely. Just because, I mean, NIP have been doing a good job at burning time, and that's something, obviously, you can't really do as the attacker. So that's uh, if that's the strength of theirs, then they're going to benefit most from being on the defense. Very true. Well, now you'll see the uh, Claymore being set up by the one rotation hole here from the hallway into CCTV. Cyber moving around towards the balcony and wanting to enter into the break room. Well, there's nobody in there, so the instant they have a drone, they can just move in and confirm that uh, situation. The mirror window is still in the desk area by the armory, which makes a lot of sense. Nobody's gonna try to blow out the wall next to it, and I hope that doesn't get used uh, against them as it, the blast was not big enough to destroy the bandit batter that's sitting next to it, I believe. Yeah, there you go. Oh, uh, that was an accident. Uh, and he chucked it right into <laughs> They'll have to rush right into it. Novis is flashed, though, by the candela of his teammate. It was more than enough for at least the mortals to come in. NIP will find two, though, with Pino getting the double. And the Jaeger. M-King will take down Psycho, but will it be enough? It's a loss of the castle, and it's not really the end of the world. The rush was not successful. Upon the castle barricade located. at least trapping here the defense inside of the armory. PX will find one on Pino, finally taking down the Jaeger but the smoke of wands from below, and he can chuck out those remote gas canisters whenever he'd like. Immortals in the meantime just completely peel off and go to the outside and will try to reset for another attack, but I'm not sure if M-King has any candelas to play for that final assault. At least they still have the buck upstairs now so they can start to open things up from above, put that pressure on, but again, they still need to make a push, and like you said, without the candelas, it could be tricky to make that actual plant happen. Yeah, and you'd love to have the candelas plus extra manpower, just one, so you could push into the site. And because there's not much time, I do not recommend using the skeleton key for this long, though it'll mostly be used to chuck grenades downstairs and allow for the rest of our mortals to come into the site. But Kamikaze will connect, he'll find one, and PX will try to plant in the smoke. He'll just fade away and a bit of health left. Wog will come in for the finisher. Julia will get the kill, but that's all that was required. Wog will get the last one and PX to go down. Two players off the line for NIP, and. 5-4 is the scoreline at the end of round number nine. The Mortals the still in the lead, but only by one. No rounds won on their attacking side yeah. just yet. Starting to look like we could head towards another tie, potentially. Because uh, judging by the way NIP have been playing this, they're very likely to win a lot of these defensive rounds. 
And then I, you know, there's definitely a strong possibility they don't win all of them, giving Immortals a chance to pick up one more and leading towards that potential tie. But that depends on if NIP can keep this pace up. They have won all three of their bomb sites, mm -hmm. though. So similar to Immortals. So it started the same way. The question is, will it end the same way? And of course it does, then that's a tie. Now they get the more favorable one, favorable yeah. one, technically, with the armory lockers and archives, right? Yeah, it's, and it's always a technically, because some teams are better at defending vents than they are about yeah. defending lockers. It's just some teams are just, the defense just works better because they split up the attacker sometimes too. One, th one thing okay, I do want to hark back to, which is something you highlighted in the previous round. Just one second. Okay, I'm back. Um, is the fact that NIP are so good at burning time away from them. And that's yeah. not a luxury that Immortals are able to really be flexible with. And, and to be clear, it's not burning time in the sense of like they're just sitting around doing nothing and, and not giving the attackers anything. It's it's they're able to hold the rooms that the attackers need while doing that. Mm -hmm. And and in doing so, deny their ability to make the progress they need to. Like they can make progress sometimes, but it's usually too little too late to turn into an execute after. Yeah, it's that is suppressed bearing nine. Certainly look like red it. Dot. What is the disgusting so thing? So he's got two suppressed guns. All right. Well, yeah, he wants to be quiet. Just quiet, I guess. Is the box leaking into Latin America? I, I hope not. Well, nice little angle there. We opened up down just below the bomb. Yeah, there's a few angles here that can use to your advantage, uh, including, um, of course, one behind the half wall, uh, where you can fight from the half wall below or from below to the top, because you know late, later round plants by the half wall are. Oh, he looks away just in time. You might have been able to get something, but actually, probably for the best, he might have got shot in the face in the process. But Novi's on repel and actually on reverse repel. Goes Playing in, flash in the drone. Attacker located a bomb. It's a pretty ballsy position. He's definitely hoping to at least get some idea for his team where everyone's playing. This will definitely help out because, you know, knowing if someone's behind the half wall, for example, is usually very important, mm -hmm. especially if they have C4. Wag, though, has taken a lot of damage in the meantime. And not really too successful on the smoke here, but the one thing I do want to highlight is the fact that as a smoke, you can um, glitch the smoke through the wall. Uh, what was that? No. Misplay. D just nonsensical. I would love to see uh, Navi's or Bullet go below the hatch and just shotgun the hatch out from below Wack too. That would just take him right out. Yeah, that would be hilarious. Because he's standing right on it unreinforced. And I don't I mean, I don't know if they know that, but they did drone him and saw him rotate over towards it. So it's something they could do. But instead, they're more focused on the usual, let's take out the battery so we get the wall open, which, to be fair, is clearly a priority. There's another way to do so as well. It actually requires a lot less technical play. Um, you know, Bullet can just come in, have someone burn the ADSs, usually just the Thermite with, with his um, with his flashbangs, and then just chuck a grenade around the side of the doorway, and it's more than enough to blow out both of those batteries that are set there. And usually it's it's much faster, more efficient, and requires less Are they bringing three Claymores instead of flashbangs, and depending on the ash for flash? Because I believe I... I mean, if the Thermite's bringing a Claymore, IQ's bringing a Claymore, and Ying's bringing a Claymore, I know. guess they're kind of worried about NIP runouts. I, I want to. I guess so. I mean, to be fair, give for a good benefit. reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very true. Oh, Ooh. he'll find the headshot. Psycho, beautiful play on Novi's. Now still in. On him, a little run on out. There's one buck ready to greet him, but bullet. Go Speaking down, Julio. Oh, two oh. for Psycho. And NIP turn the whole round to their favor, Cyber. Last alive in CCTV. 18 seconds of the clock as he'll try to dive into the armory. The bandit comes in, but it gets swiftly dispatched, and Pino will thread it again. Suppressed MP5, suppressed bearing nine, whatever you'd like to say. Tactical setup from Pino. More than enough. What a, what an angle. Beautiful. So far, NIP doing slightly better than Immortals in that Immortals' momentum had been broken by the time they got to the lockers. The second time, they did manage to lose it, but. It's definitely looking very good for NIP because I feel like their defenses are just very swift in their uh, execution towards the end of the round in terms of slaughtering everyone. Once Again, once they, they, they get the, enough of a manpower advantage, they're absolutely playing it for runouts, any kind of quick plays that they can make based off of the limited ability of 
the attackers to actually control where they go. And like you said, maybe they're afraid of those runouts and they bring those claymores. I'm not seeing all those claymores set up yet either. No. It seems like they're in situations where they're dying with them in their pockets often as well. So maybe that's uh, a bit of a problem because they're not really stopping a ton of those runouts. And protect your bombs in that case, maybe they need to be attackers. setting up better for trades if you're getting shot. And that, that last time as well, that last round, getting shot on the rappel, carrying the diffuser, meant the diffuser dropped all the way down with Cyber upstairs. Had it dropped on the yeah, ledge the there where he was swinging bomb. into, Cyber could have grabbed it as he was in CCTV, and it not have been as big a problem. He might have been able to try and go towards the plant, but the timing one, there. One thing I want to highlight is the fact that Immortals on here are fairly split. You know, they're getting kills, but they're just there. There's, they're not, to quote Michael again, impact frags. Yeah, they're not turning into, again, map control. Yes. They're just, they're just turning into, well, we've, we've picked off a few of them, but we haven't really Attackers done anything that helps us make an actual plan happen. Yeah, and, and that is, in my opinion, the biggest problem in this, uh, in this match up in the situation in general. You gotta play objective. And that that is that is the right objective of yeah. the of the round and of the game and uh, you know you end up losing players midway through the round that are just on their own. There's no drones to help them. There's no one really to give them any information. They just end up dying and they're like, oh hey, where did our manpower go? Well you're just kinda scraping the barrel at some point. You're not really finding anything that can help you up until they like add remote drones and just fire on their own. Please don't please yeah. No. It's just a joke, okay? Just, okay? just a joke. I know a lot of people were thinking that was going to be the case with uh, Maestro scammers. Oh, yeah, a lot of people were a little worried about so the, the Terp turret being bandied about, so that that wasn't the case. But managed to barely escape with that drone, it looked like. Oh, and M-King almost turned it into an actual kill on the back bug, but just too little too late. Though. There are a lot of angles being held on CCTV, which is great if you can turn them into a kill, but if they're just not going to move at this point and lock it down now that it, things are open, you're just going to be, again, burning your own time against yourself. You have Candelas. This needs to be a coordinated attack from either the doorway or the window, or both, preferably, to where you can get some blinding going on, take control. You need to be droning it. Again, there's no mute to stop you this time. The run out oh. again, right in front of M-King. I want to say, being very wise to not fire. Just so. His opponents remain unsure. Now, they do have a mirror window, and Pino is able to get the kill on M-King. So, scratch that. As Pino gets another, Cyber is going to go down. That's a that's, lot of utility, off. Huh? That's a ton of utility there. That's a, that's, a ton, that's a lot of damage, as they say. It's a whole heap of utility. <laughs> very true. You lose the Jaeger, but th that's fine. You know, you killed you killed the, you killed the Yang. You killed the IQ as well. Sure, you're not playing with an Echo, but now you're sure that your, that your cameras are going to be safe. At least there's another C4 off now. Yeah, they take down Julia. I'm not sure if he was still playing inside of the server, but we'll see Wog run away and try to rotate back. Unfortunately, he's got to be very careful. I like that he opened up just a piece, gave himself the ability to kind of peek it real quick, and then moved off. Hold it, though. We're falling. This could be finally the round that breaks the momentum, but C4. Oh, right behind his spray right next to him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Shotgun in hand. PX will still find a kill, and all on his own is Wog. He's been revealed. PX will go for the plant instantly. Oh, oh no, Vs! He spotted the legs below, and Wog. Oh, my. Just the timing. Unfortunate. So there's there's that momentum break. That does put things in a position now where Immortals either tie or win, securing themselves that one point with that six, being the first <laughs> six, very important in this game. So we might just see that because I feel like NIP could definitely bring it back. They just cannot go to lockers, but Vents they've defended as well. Losing customs is not as big a deal, but being that that makes it now you cannot get your three points, is kind of a big deal for NIP. We'll see though. The Ying not working out so well for M King, who's really been struggling on a lot of rolls today, unfortunately. Gonna be going on the Jackal instead. Hopefully, gonna have someone droning in, not face checking it, so he can actually get in, get some footprints. Because honestly, that seems like the right play. Because the way that these roamers have been able to kind of make these crazy plays, if you can kind of at least freeze them in position somewhat by pinging them for Jackal. That could be pretty helpful, especially if you're able to execute on that and actually get the kill out of it, which is, I, I know, a bit harder. But, it, you know, like the whole the whole lion idea of just trying to freeze them in some kind of place 
where they feel like they're a little more secure, or pushing them all the way back to site where they're not in a run out position is great. But man, yeah, the split here, double digits for three members of Immortals, and then just less than five for the other two members. You just, you really see the struggle happening for some members of Immortal versus others in terms of how long, and it's not that they're not getting kills, it's those players aren't but living very long amazing. into the rounds a lot of times as well. And it is kind of a problematic because Immortals have been ha making the mistake time and time again of just moving in midway through the, the round and just ending up dying for no reason or because Pino played very well and found kills where he probably shouldn't. Yeah, I mean, he's he's kind of playing like what Cyber was doing on their defense. Hmm? You know, this playing that very aggressive Jaeger. A very, a, a very, I think, an apt comparison would be to... Uh, it's a joystick from Team Empire. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're such a beast. Very true. It really does allow you to maneuver around the map fairly quickly. And you've got a great gun. So I'm glad it doesn't have an ACOG on it anymore, though. No, I'm actually glad. Probably tilted yeah. like half the audience just by saying that. Honestly, at, at this point, you just kind of get over it, right? <laughs> right. It's like those relationships where, like, hey, you know, it's been a move on. So maybe you should just move on with your life. Either way. Immortals hoping to move on with the win. They got a Jackal track, so M-King will have some way of uh, pushing away an opponent. Uh, but that is a player down. Oh, that's someone downstairs. Oh, no. Oh, what are you? Almost getting Pino. That would have been uh, even better than a Jackal track. Mm -hmm. Almost got shot by a teammate as well, which is not great coordination here. Seems like they're maybe a little flustered by being on match point. We see that sort of choke sort of thing happen to a lot of teams when they get in that position. As that was their first win on attack, they're seeming a little flustered trying to get this push gun. Well, the knees do get weak and the arms do get heavy, but Bullet is watching from the window. If you mind this client-sided debris, he may not have that on his screen as Exactly. Well. So he'll drop down and maybe try to push in directly into the vents. Cyber is taking fairly low on HP, and M-King will try to fight up close, but Whoa. he loses it yeah. against Pino who still somehow is alive, actually, with a couple bits of health. So Drops you're comparing down. Cyber and him? They're about comparable in health. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the big difference, you lose the Jackal, and yeah. you can't really do too much here. Hey, at least then King got to do something this round. <laughs> well, they at least managed to get in without losing too many people. Getting some top floor control without losing too many attackers is generally a pretty good achievement, I think. Unfortunately, the the uh, fact that they haven't yet to push them off on the top floor is still a bit of a problem, though. You really need to either force them down or start killing them. Because without top floor control, once you go for a plant, you're pretty much going to get shot from above. Cyber has to kind of manage his trigger finger to not fire into the mirror window as soon as he sees it. Um, you know, it's a lot of trigger discipline here to be sure that you're not putting yourself in a bad situation, you're at least alerting your opponents it's to your exactly spot. Kamikaze low on health as well as Pino still, but two kills will go the way of NIP. Cyber will immediately yeah, turn into a 3v2. Eight seconds left in the clock. Grenade's gonna get thrown in. Bullet will run right down the servers. There's one on the outside to try and stop him, but the side is completely open. No, there's Pino and Psycho on the side, and they'll find a kill each. NIP to tie it up. Round number 12 to go their way in 6-6. Six, 6, six. the bear uh, of the beast. That'll be the one... Uh, yeah. That'll be the end. The yep. draw. The end. Certainly will be the end of that match. And that is the second tie. So it is very similar to what happened in North America. Yeah. It's, uh, very true. Both times ended up in the six six draws twice. So Europe, looking at you Thursday to try and also get two ties. Hell and fire was born to be released. <laughs>